Hey guys, happy Sunday. Welcome to the Andy and Kelsey cooking show. I'm Andy. And I'm Kelsey. And today on our cooking show, we're actually gonna go through five tips for you guys that we use on a regular basis to help us meal prep. So here we go. All right, starting with tip number one. Now, instead of using more fattier um, items, it's just pretty much basically not burn your foods as your meats and everything when you're cooking them in that pan, would be, I mean, butters, um, some canola oils, and vegetable oil. Um, we actually like to substitute that with our coconut oil. It has the same purpose, but actually it's a little bit more lighter just while you're cooking your food. Okay, for tip number two, we highly recommend that you have a food scale in your house to be able to measure your food. Food scales are super versatile. They can measure in ounces, grams, fluid ounces, and how it works is you just set it down, you set your container that you're gonna put your food in on top of the food scale, then you turn the food scale on, and then you can enter in all of your foods to be able to measure them much more accurately for your meal plan. Okay, for tip number three, we are actually going to bring up uh, something that we talked about in our previous episodes, Flavor God Seasoning. So, I mean, if you're not obviously wanting the same, you know, plain, boring, plain Jane chicken that normally everybody likes to have, or maybe just doing the old, like, chicken and herb for their chicken flavor, um, these ones are definitely, uh, it's a very huge variety of different seasonings. You got buffalo, um, you got uh, Cajun lovers. And things like that and also even for your yogurts you can actually throw some of this in and i've been doing that a lot lately and it's actually really amazing this is the buttery cinnamon roll so yeah i mean search these up guys these are something you should definitely check out because these are amazing okay our fourth tip is using cookware that helps you to cook healthier so two of my favorite pieces to use are my air fryer and my crock pot so i love doing crock pot chicken super easy to cook in bulk or doing stews or anything like that in here. And then I love my air fryer for doing like steaks, um, doing french fries, anything that you love to have a crisp taste without having the fried part of it. These are excellent tools to have in the kitchen for a meal prep. For our final tip, I highly recommend having a variety of good protein snacks within the house because protein is by far one of the hardest things for most people to hit. And so if you can have a quick grab and go protein snack, that's gonna help you be successful with hitting your goal protein for the day. And uh, speaking of protein, the favorite snacks that Kelsey and I just love to pretty much indulge in is also my favorite jerky. Oh, I have between two to three ounces a day, maybe more. And then, uh, I don't know, uh, these are also really nice too. These uh, chicken up the sea, uh, not just the tuna one, but the salmon ones are just as well. It's uh, super delicious. And those come in different variety of flavors. And then, of course, level one bars. Always the best. And I'll say I got the next one back in my protein bar because these just kick some butt. So, yeah. anyways. Yeah, and a couple, a couple other ones are we love quick chips. Yep. Um, we love the new First Form beef sticks. Those are really good. Oh. Uh, just grabbing a quick protein shake. Protein powder is a super convenient way to have uh, protein in your diet. Just quick grab and go. So those are a few of our tips. And uh, let us know if you have any questions. And I hope you have a great week. we're actually gonna go through five tips that we use on a regular basis to help us meal prep and get through our food throughout the week. <laughs> what was that? All right, starting with tip number one. Um, one and only, coconut oil. I like to use coconut oil over, did you stop? <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> the one and only. <laughs> Flavor Gods seasoning. I'm telling you, this is where it's at. Um, we got first steps, or the first, um, so, ah! Hold on, I had it. Fuck! Okay, our, honey. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs>